and our lot. Hey guys, it's Crazy Tales One back for another Crazy Tales One talks. So I think it's the seventh episode. I'm really lost in. I don't know which episode we're on, but which game we're, we are on seventh episode, right? Uh, uh I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. Let me go check right so, quick. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've been doing this for a while, but anyway, thank you guys for um tuning in for this live episode. If you like today's episode, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe and stay to my channel, all subscribe by Licious Gaming. He's always in my descriptions for every one of my videos, so you can't miss his channel. It's by Licious Gaming, obviously, YouTube. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, I do YouTube. I do whatever I feel like. And uh, <laughs> Crater, you, you do not playlist your Crater 2001 talks. What's wrong with you? I know. I'm about no. Usually, I playlist something after ten. I do ten videos of it. So I actually Why? I might play. I don't Why know. It just, I don't know. Because, That's such like, a huge number. Because <laughs> because it, it's past ten, that knows like that shows I'm going to continue doing it. Like if I don't go past ten of something, then I'm. You I'm know just how many of my series is actually go past ten? Very what? rarely do they go past ten. Very rarely. Uh, anyway, get back to the show. <laughs> get back to the show. I'm sorry. Yeah. My bad. Oh yeah. As always, you add me on Facebook, like me on Facebook, find me on Twitter, find me on Google Plus. You get the whole list all in the description below. But let's get started with my two guests here today. Um, Danny from I want to say your YouTube channel, right? What is it, Danny? Um, well, you could, it's uh, Danny. see, I have commitment issues, so I'm always like changing the names and stuff. But I started off with Daniel Connell Virus as the name for YouTube, but that was like four mm -hmm. years ago. So now it's just the Danny Express, but you know it's on there, the uh, Daniel Cano virus, but it's also just yeah. says Danny Cano. So you know it's just it's just commitment issues, dude. Like it can't. I, <laughs> I feel can bad for whatever girl you get with, man. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to get married, but at the same time I don't, and no. you know it's I'm like, fine with January 12th, but can we push it to I'm, July? I mean, it's like, dude, I love burgers, <laughs> and I wouldn't mind eating burgers all the time, but sometimes I want pizza. It, that's God, just... <laughs> oh, buddy. I never want to play games with you. <laughs> hey, Daddy, what do you want to play today? Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to play this, but I also want to play that. What do you want to play that? Nah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> See, but once I stick to something, usually I just I stick with it, and I stay committed. But it, in order for me to get committed to something, it, it takes a long time, <laughs> and that's the issue. Wow. <laughs> so what's, what what's, what type of content do you do on your videos? Uh, so I'm a, I would say I'm a YouTube comedian. Like I want to say that I'm funny. I I wouldn't know exactly because I can't see people laugh whenever they see my videos. <laughs> but you know, but I want to think that I'm a YouTube comedian. It's more along like a blogger and stuff. But uh, I also do love video games and a lot of anime stuff. And like I like you know the commitment issues. I just love so many things that I just. I put little things of everything into my channel, but it's mostly just me talking into a camera. That's pretty much what it is. For the yeah, most. hang on. I'm I'm trying to put up your YouTube channel. It's just for some freaking reason. It's like the screen share is not working. Just give me a couple seconds. But yeah, yeah, no, yeah but you can tell our YouTube channel. I don't know yet. <laughs> you always have problems. Yeah, yeah. but no, but yeah, continue to talk about your YouTube channel. Alright, I think well it says like open capture. Should I do that? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, just take it off. Just, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just try to get your webcam back up so we can see your beautiful face. All right, there you go. I think it's up. Yeah, see, yeah. I'm not very good with technology, man. That's. <laughs> I don't know. I I'll start panicking when something happens, and I don't know what to do. I don't want to press anything. Hmm. Oh man. Uh, so, so it's not showing. Well, you know what? So. That that makes it more of an incentive for the viewers to actually go. Yeah, yeah okay. look at his channel. Yeah. See, yeah, and uh, for about a week or so, everybody, I'll have these two guys is on my channel, just like I do every guest that we have on Trader 2001 Talks. So if you see these guys, they're like, hey, I want to go see them. Whenever I feel like doing it, they'll be on my channel, and they'll be on Creators as well. Yes, exactly. Anyway, uh, any, anything else to add about your channel, Danny? Um, I guess it's all it's really entertaining because you don't know what you're gonna you know expect from it. It's mostly me talking into a camera, but for the most part, it's it's pretty entertaining. So you know, it's like it's like a lot of different content and stuff. And yeah, I don't think people will get bored of it. I mean, I don't. So <laughs> that is that. I, I mean, know. I don't know how to market myself to people, man. I, that's <laughs> that's the issue. Oh, I want to be like, oh yeah, no, I'm hilarious. I'm the funniest thing ever. And then they click on it and they're like, oh, this guy's not that funny. So it's <laughs> like. <laughs> 
It's like I might make you smile if you you know watch it. There's a possibility that but you see, could laugh. But see, if you tell me you're gonna make me laugh, I'm gonna laugh because you told me you're gonna make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, but, see, this is yeah. this is the internet. This is YouTube we're talking about. You tell someone that you're gonna laugh when you watch the video, they're gonna try their best not to laugh. And we're also talking about one of the worst communities on the internet. So you just gotta you just yeah. gotta be like, dude, I'm funny. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Uh, yes, I am. I'm hilarious, and you should definitely check me out and you know subscribe and stuff. That. <laughs> um, with that, okay. I think it's a good time to turn it over to Mikey. Mikey, hey. you don't mind me calling you that. Yeah, I don't care. My whole family calls me that. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, I fit right in then. Yep. <laughs> so, wait, can you guys see me? Yes, yeah, I can see you. Oh, okay, because I kind of pressed the uh, other button. And <laughs> it, it it works, so <laughs> I'm not sure if anything's right right now. Yeah, I can see it, man. I can see you perfect. Let's go. All tell, right. Tell about my YouTube channel. All right, so my YouTube channel, it, uh, right now it's actually a gaming channel, but I'm trying to switch over and stop doing conventional gaming because gaming right now on a YouTube is becoming way too big for its yes. own good. Look at PS4 and its own capture card. Everybody is just recording. And right now I'm just trying to do skits. And uh, what else am I trying to do? Uh, just I just want to make people laugh. And that's all I really care about. That's, uh, that was point blank simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't... <laughs> it was nice and simple. I liked it. It was a nice yeah, break. I'm like, oh, simple. man, I didn't, I didn't have to <laughs> yeah, make it that. No, but yeah, point, uh, YouTube's yeah. oversaturated right now with a bunch of like gaming content. Yeah, so well, see, it's hard for well, you to get no, out there. There, there is a lot. Like in my in when one of my classes, we learned that every seventy-two, uh, every minute, seventy-two hours of footage is uploaded to YouTube, and uh, yeah. that was in twenty fourteen or uh, twenty thirteen. So who knows what it is right now? But <clears throat> my theory is that the people who just keep uploading and uploading and it's just crap. They'll eventually get pushed to the side, and you know people pinpoint who they really want to see. I mean, look, while YouTube is being oversaturated, while there, there is a lot of people in there, the popular people are still popular. The ones that are growing oh, are still growing. Yeah. The people who are getting subscribers are still getting subscribers. They should just make it a little bit difficult to find those people, but a lot of people get discouraged. I meet so many people who start YouTube, and then they quit a month later because they get discouraged. So, I mean, it's a lot of just... They'll, if people are smart, which I like to think, I hope they are, they'll see that the people that are oversaturating the market with the PS4 capture, they're not going to make it, you know. So I, I have faith in that we that can all grow if we keep going. Way of looking things. Well, yeah, yeah, you kind of have to be optimistic <laughs> in this job, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, most definitely. That's true. Uh, yeah, I want to feel like sure. with the PS4 capture. They have more access to like better, not better games, but newer games that come out. We don't Otherwise, have to worry about having to run stuff either. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because this but, thing uh, right here, this uh, takes forever to set up right here. Oh. <laughs> I know what you're just talking about. Um. So, you know the whole PS4 Xbox One thing when they can catch that's actually a pretty good thing. You yeah, y'all know use that, but. what Steam got recently in the beta branch, don't you? What. Mm -hmm. They got a thing called broadcast. You can watch your friends playing games, or you can watch public broadcasts live while people are playing their games. And get the, it's like Twitch or whatever. But get this, it's super smooth and it doesn't lag you. I've had I had 27 people watching me in Microsoft Flight Simulator, didn't lag me or nothing, and they can chat and whatever. Right now it's in beta, but that's another competition for Twitch and stuff and people Damn, like all that. These, oh, all these live streaming, yeah, all these, yeah, I, I guarantee you. Sooner or later, Twitch is probably going to, if, if like Google doesn't buy Twitch, they're going to have some serious competition in terms of live streaming. Uh, the way, I, the way I picture the future is you can't stick to one thing. Just like yeah. how like we, we're trying to branch out, which is why I use Twitter and Steam and all that, is because if you use one thing, you're going to fail. Because there's exactly. so many platforms out there, so you have to actually get there. And get yeah, that's why I, yeah, that's why I just started recently using my Instagram for some of my stuff. So, me too. Instagram actually works. <laughs> so I, actually got, I actually got a few more subscribers thanks to Instagram. So Dude, Twitter? Works. When I started using Twitter, I actually had a little bump in views and subscribers and stuff yeah, when I actually Twitter started works. using it. 
It's yeah. just so much stuff. I feel as though out of all three but, of them, Facebook is the one that's starting to get a little decline. Yeah, well. And that's, I mean, that, well that's just my opinion. Because, like, just Twitter's just so easy to just put up the video right yeah. there. Because anybody could just simply use on, especially on the phone, everybody would automatically see it on Twitter. Instagram, you have to do the whole, well, thanks to Proxy, the whole 15-second clip thing. Yeah, speaking of which, anybody use um, um, Xbox, what is it called? Xbox. Proxy? Yeah, yeah Proxy, what is it called? Yeah, I don't it's know. actually pretty good. That, I don't use it for Instagram, but that's the point. But let's, let's get off a side <laughs> back here. I know, we're <laughs> already <laughs> like, we're already yeah. getting... We're side getting off side I, think we, I think we broke yeah. the record for earliest getting sidetracked. <laughs> it was only like video. 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust me. Oh, God. Yeah. But hey, that was a good conversation. That was good. That was good. That was meaningful. It wasn't yeah, random yeah, well, like it usually is. Oh, yeah, trust me, especially the random parts at the end. <laughs> All right. What's the next question? I don't, I don't forget what the next. No, question is. we didn't do the first question yet. So Dan, oh, we, we haven't done the we first question yet. We haven't. Oh. That's right. Yeah, we we haven't. No, we have not. So Dan, I will start with you. Um, so basically, um, what made you get started on YouTube? Uh, well, I started watching YouTube a long time ago when I was um, I was still in high school. I think I started watching like Nigga Higa and Shane Dawson and all those like you know popular bloggers now. But back then, they were first getting started, and all they had was like a camera, like me, and they were um. They were, you know, just doing videos like that, and I thought they were hilarious and funny. It was just something, you know, to pass the time. But as I started going through the comments and stuff, I started reading up on, like, random people would, like, tell them, like, oh, like, you made my day so much better, or, like, you know, I was having such a shitty day or something, and, like, you made it better and stuff. And, like, you know, those comments, and then, like, I just noticed that they have, like, a sort of power over people, you know? Like, the more, um, the more like, subscriber base you have, like, you know, you, you, you make an impact in people's lives through YouTube videos, you know, through just, like, being silly and stuff. And like that's that's when I decided I want to do that. Like I want to have an impact on people's lives for the better. Like I want to make people laugh and smile. I want people whenever they have a bad day to just like check out my channel and be like, oh, this guy's like this guy's an idiot, and it's hilarious. Like I, like <laughs> I like I don't care. I, I don't honestly like I don't care if people are laughing at me or with me. As long as they're laughing, that's all that really matters to me. Like as long as I'm putting a smile on your face, that that that's the whole point of it, you know. Because, um, like, I just want to have an impact on people's lives. It's really, like, I want to make people, you know, better. Like, I want to make people's days brighter. And that's, like, the whole point of my YouTube channel. Hmm, that's actually... Yeah, that's I don't actually, know how I should respond to that. That's actually... <laughs> well, no, yeah, that's, that's true. You I don't... usually end it with a joke, but that one's too legit to end on a, on, a, on with a joke there. <laughs> that yeah, kind of hit home. Yeah, <laughs> it should really be about at the end of the day, just put smiles to people's faces. Or, you know, or informational, you know. You know exactly. Inf yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's pretty much how it should be. So, well, uh, uh, Michael, hmm? I hate that you got to follow that up, but. Uh, <laughs> well, no, no, uh, pressure, man. no pressure. Uh, <laughs> right. and it's just, uh, it's really ironic how I got onto YouTube because I started YouTube when I was a sophomore in high school. And during that time, I was like the awkwardest, fat, short person you will ever meet in your entire life. <laughs> so when I started YouTube, I posted a video. And when I came in the next day, and I told all my friends about it to watch it, they were all laughing. And it actually made me happy because at the time, I would just sit back and not say anything to anyone. Just be like that one person in the group that doesn't say anything, which I'm kind of doing right now. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, it actually made them laugh, and they kept talking about it. And I'm like, you know what? I can probably do this. I can actually make people laugh. So I just kept going. And at the time, I didn't have all this fancy stuff that I had. So we didn't it was – oh, God. No, it, was, it, was it was terrible. I, I love going back into my channel all the way back to the first episode <laughs> and watch my first video. <laughs> You I know, know. <laughs> I love it. It's just like I know I do. Yeah, I, so can't, I, can't, I can't do it. Yeah, I, I, can't I go do back it. and look. I'm like, I remember the first video I put up. I looked at my the guy I do this YouTube channel with. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, this is awesome. This is the best video ever. We're gonna get famous. And now I look at it. And I'm thinking, God, that video got 41 views. I bet everyone killed themselves halfway through it. <laughs> yeah, my 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 old videos are pretty terrible, especially since I'm like a vlogger. Like it all revolves around the camera, and it's 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 terrible. It's I'm glad we finally got a vlogger on here. I was wondering if we was gonna get like a yes, vlogger. finally. I was yeah, like, man, it. I'm ready for a vlogger. You know Dodger, <laughs> dexterity bonus and all that. Do you know her? Who? Dodger. 
No, I don't think so. No, oh, that's a vlogger I watch. I'll probably start uh, watching you because I actually watch. Actually, I actually do watch vloggers. Yeah, it, it's it's really weird because you know, like it's kind of like a persona. Like you, I don't want to say you're acting, like because I'm really like when I'm doing the videos, I'm actually really having fun and like yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in reality, like if in a you know just like real life setting, if you see me, I'm just like <laughs> chill. Like yeah, like I don't like I don't necessarily just laugh out of nowhere. I'm like I have a very serious face and like I just have like a serious nature. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm you know I'm a, I'm a butthole or you know I'm, a I'm, I'm pretty sure we I'm pretty sure we all have our personas though even out yeah. like outside of YouTube. Yeah. I have yeah. more Lenore Ryan than I do inside YouTube. I don't go I don't go to Lenore Ryan and when I make a bad grade I scream buttholes to the top of my <laughs> lungs you know when it's a bad grade. But I mean I think we all have the persona. But I see what you mean though. Um, one thing I've noticed is like my vlogs get so much more views than my actual gaming videos. That is so true. No, because yeah. that's like, gaming videos can everybody see them. I mean, your vlog is something different. That's why I'm gonna start. Yeah, I mean, not to cut you off, Danny, but no, like, yeah. I'm about, I'm about to just start. I mean, I'm still gonna be doing game videos, all that. Just for now, I'm gonna be like, just bring more of myself into it. Just do like it, a, you know? start with like a once a week thing. That's what I do. That's what I yeah, like do a weekly vlog. Once a week, yeah. yeah. I used to do the update Sunday, but there ain't, I don't really do so much to have an update, so I just make it random now. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think it really revolves around the saturation part. Like, you know how you, I'm guessing all of you guys are like gamers and, you know, you, you do a lot of gaming content. So there's so much of it, but whenever you do a vlog, it's something personal. Like, it's literally you in front of a camera. Yeah. So that's oh, that's yeah. as personal as you can so get. Much. And, like, your viewers, like, they see that. They see, like, oh, my God, this is a regular dude. Like, this is just a regular person. So, like, that, that connection you make with your viewer, it, it's the reason they're there, and it's how you get more views out of it, you know, because you're making a connection. Because, like, you my know, thing. YouTube... A YouTube celebrity is not like a regular celebrity. Yeah. Like a YouTube celebrity, like they're right there. Like you can comment and they'll probably see it. Maybe they won't reply, but okay. they'll see it. So it's like we have that interaction with our, you know, fans. But I don't know. I feel weird calling them fans. I, like there's yeah. just people that watch. That's how yeah, I see them. Yeah, like, that, I don't, I don't call like calling them fans. So. I call I call I call them fans just to, for like because I don't want to be like you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Watch the me. So I just watch. say fans yeah, or subscribers. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, my dad had a theory. It was like, people are curious, right? People are very, very curious. And when you see it, when you do a gaming video, they're seeing you play. They're seeing your gamer side. Well, they would like to know, like, what else do you do? You know, like, what? who is this guy really like? So then when you do a vlog, it's like, oh, okay, so this guy goes to college. This guy does that. This guy does that. So then when you know more about that YouTuber, when time comes and you could be like, oh, He's playing this game and he enjoys it because he's afraid of spiders. You know what I mean? You, you see what I'm trying to say there? They make connections. Mm -hmm. They make these little tiny connections with you. And that's what my dad's theory is anyway. Yeah, it makes sense. That's mm -hmm. Well, no, it's actually it's a good theory. Yeah. That's yeah. Hmm. Hmm, oh, man. Let's see. This has been a good show. Yeah. <laughs> this, has been, this has been a good oh, yeah. show right now. Yeah. This has been kind of good. I showed usually, up today. Yeah. Yeah, we usually, usually have like, we just go yeah yeah we usually have these like little awkward breaks in between questions or trust me I know all about that <laughs> yeah I uh, no, well, this is actually yeah I would say I'm a quiet person but whenever I'm around people and stuff I just like like I said dude I love making people smile and laugh like that that wouldn't change with you guys so do you like, have a do you have do you get a lot of girls that way um look man. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to sound like you know, like that guy. But Clear. I mean, it does help that you're very social with people. Well, it does people. though. Like I was asking a serious question. Like. <laughs> well, the <laughs> way to turn um, that around. See, you gave yourself that title. I didn't. I asked a simple <laughs> question, and you're like, "Well, I don't want to sound like well, that." I, I'm very, I'm very <laughs> intimate with like my friends and my family when it comes to my relationships because it's not like I try to, you know like be with a lot of girls and stuff like I literally I just kinda keep to myself and they're the ones that come to me and I'm just like well you know, I don't know this is just me like and then they, they, they you know, it's weird cuz like <laughs> it, it's weird cuz I mean I don't necessarily try to get the spotlight out of anything right but it's just like my personality and then you know my bubbly nature like kinda comes out every once in a while and then like I'm not trying to like take people's spotlight or anything but it's just the way I am and like I literally like love and have fun and enjoy. Are you sure you're quiet in person? I'm having a hard time believing it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because like I don't make the interaction with people. Like I don't. I'm not the one who's gonna come up to you and be like, "Hey, man, what's up? My name is Danny." And, God, I am. And oh, I'm God. funny and stuff. Like I don't do that. But um, 
like that that's what people think like I'm a really like serious and like mean person and so like I don't do that but if you were to do that to me if you come to me and like you know you, you start talking to me I mean like I'm like I'm pretty friendly I just you know I don't make the first interaction and that's why I'm like you know very serious all the time but all right. so uh we're going to go ahead since it's 7.22. We need to hurry up and get past these two questions because that's important. Oh, yeah. oh, right so, uh, yeah. It's already 22 minutes in. I think that's the fastest this has ever been. Um, <laughs> it just seems like it's fast. The, <laughs> well, well, duh, Crater. You think I actually think that time sped up? Come on now. I don't know, man. So, uh, so, starting uh, with Danny, we're going to keep you going. Uh, why did you join Maker? If You are a part of Maker, Maker right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I just figured like I needed a little extra push w when it comes to my, you know, my videos, cause um, yeah, as a vlogger, you, you kind of like you'll get bland and boring, even if you you are like super funny and entertaining. So you need like a little extra push, like whether it's like visuals that stimulate people, so they're like, oh, they're gonna keep watching because you have funny pictures here and there, or like cutoffs and stuff. And like uh, I really needed like music, cause I, I I mean I have like a music tattoo. I can't I don't know if you can see it, but no, yeah, yeah I'm like. I'm, yeah, like, I, I really love music and stuff, and, like, I just needed something else to, you know, add a little spice to my vlogs, and, like, you know, joining the Maker, or, and, and, you know, joining Maker really helps out, because they, they give you, like, all these platforms and all this, like, you know, like, these resources that you can use to, like, help your videos and make them a little bit better, or maybe a lot better, depending on how you use the resources, and I really needed that to, you know, make, make my videos, like, stand out more, or, like, you know, more entertaining and stuff, so that's why I joined Maker. Oh, that was good. <laughs> and this is all from the top of my head. Like I did not rehearse any of this. <laughs> That's sad because like I'm pretty much. Yeah, you did. I bet. I bet you got a sticky note on that computer. <laughs> no, no. You like, typed it out and everything. I bet <laughs> you're like. I bet. Well, I bet you know you didn't write it out, but I bet you were in the shower and you're like, hmm, what am I gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I literally, I just wing everything. Like, whatever comes into my head first, that's the thing that comes out. And usually that's not, that's not you know, what you should do because you should really oh, think sure. about I, I do the same thing, but, <laughs> yeah. like, I do, I do the same thing. Like, whatever comes in my head, I'll say it, and that's got me in a lot of exactly. trouble. But... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crater, are you tired, buddy? What's the matter? No, it's not that I'm tired. just I had a long fucking week. <laughs> well, that probably means you're tired. So, well, yeah. tired of the long well, week. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Craig. I, you know, I, I'm taking out my foul mood on you. I know, yeah. I guess, yeah, this one. Because you, you just take it, and that's like the best thing about you. You just, you just take it, and I can just dish it, and you still invite me back. It's, it's great. That's, that is such a wonderful relationship. It's the best it's relationship beautiful. in the world. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> All right, Michael, tell, tell us how you got into Maker. How I got into Maker. Um, it was a day we were sitting in lunch. And my friends usually give most of me my ideas, so they're like, you should go and join a partner. Just go and look for partnerships. Just throw them out there. I'm like, <laughs> really? And at the time, I had like, what, 70 or 60 subscribers? So they were like, just do it and see what happens. So I'm like, okay. I wasn't looking at it for the money side, but the aspect that I don't know how to promote really well. So... And I still have that problem now. Uh, but if yeah. I had joined... What? I have the same issue. Like, I don't know mm. if they were marketing. Yeah. Let, I'm going to have a discussion suffering with that. you guys after the show. And I got some tips I want to give you. Cool, thanks. Yeah, tips would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the time, I was thinking about it like, hey, maybe this partnership could have a form. Maybe I can post my videos there. Something will happen if I join a partnership. So I ended up getting my first partnership with Maker and I'm still in this contract I believe but that's pretty much how I got it. Most of the things I do is basically because my friends just throw ideas at me and I get some <laughs> weird stupid idea and I'm like this could actually work and then I don't know gotta thank my friends so much yeah man oh, like man. I feel like the biggest issue with not doing something is literally not doing it. Like that's that's the biggest thing holding anybody back. It's like if they quit or they give up. So like I feel like if you just put yourself out there, eventually something's gonna work. Like yeah, you may fail a lot of times, but eventually you're gonna succeed. Well, you see, you know, you guys said you don't know how to promote yourselves, and when when to promote yourself, there's a lot of ways you got to do it, but you got to do it, you know. 
And you got to be able to take the backlash you get from it. Because oh, when you promote yeah. yourself, yeah. you're going to get a lot. Trader knows this. You're going to get a lot of backlash. Oh, goodness. So, I like, have... yeah. Yeah. so when you promote yourself, you, you got to like say, when they say, oh, get out of my face, you filthy cracker skinny guy, which is what I got one time. Um, you just wow. got to be like, thanks for your feedback. I appreciate you at least looking at it. And then you move on. <laughs> you move on. But, I mean, promoting yourself... All it takes is posting everywhere, making sure you tell people you're a YouTuber. Like, when I got to college, like, I, I learned that there's no gamers at my college. God. Really? There's what? Like, there's, there's about eight, nine really? gamers. Wow, really? Everybody else is, like, the, the gamers. Like, they'll play Madden or something, but that's about it. Oh, so, God. like, nobody uh, watches my YouTube. They checked it out. They were like, dude, I want to see your YouTube, but, like, they didn't subscribe or anything. But how I, I know. I, hate, I, yeah, I, hate I made sure everyone knew. I was like, hey, my name's Moon, and uh, my favorite thing to do is YouTube. And uh, I just tell that's how you promote yourself. You've got to let people know you're YouTube, and you got to be confident about it. you got to be confident. That is why. Because when you're confident about it, that tells people, oh, you're promoting yourself because you're confident, and you want me to see it because you're confident in it. And that's how yeah, the yeah. best way to promote and, I mean, obviously, it doesn't see it doesn't work too well with me with my 161. But here lately, as soon as I started doing it, I've been getting a lot more YouTubers faster than I normally did. I've never grew this much before. Like, we went from one for, uh, 138 to 161 in the past couple weeks because I started doing this new method. So I'm just assuming it's working. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, well, lucky for you, you was on. You're an increase. I'm on a decline for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, dude, I saw that, dude. I saw your numbers recently, cause like I was this like, going God, these subscribers just went down. down. Yeah, you just keep going. Down. Down. They want something new. The game, the game videos aren't obviously not cutting any. I'm still gonna do it. That's why I, I'm trying to record as much as possible. I just get that out the way, and then. I could just do my own thing. Like, actually, I always want to do, like, some short films on here since I got that canon. They can actually film, like, movie quality stuff, so. Wow. Dude, if I'm I'm trying to do you, that, I'm going to film, I got to film short movies for next semester. Exactly. Anyway, that's, class. I'm actually jealous of you. <laughs> I could use that. <laughs> oh, good. What? Yeah, like, oh, next canon? semester, I got this, I got yeah. this class called, uh, Field and Studio Production, and basically they give us a camera and tell us to go film stuff, so I'm looking forward to that. Well, actually, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, let me get it real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, those yeah. can you get – well, you get them on the third question. Yeah, I'll get them on the third question. I'll get them on the third question. All right, so while Crater's off, if you're just joining us, Crater's gone to get his cannon so he can show it off. We're going to go to the third question for our two guests here. So, Danny, um, what's the future of your channel look like? The future of my channel. What do you got planned? What do I have planned? I don't know. Because, like, <laughs> I mean, of course I want it to grow, and I want to, you know, grow yeah, yeah. and do all that stuff. But as for, like, a definitive future, I don't really, I couldn't really say. But um, I know I'm going to be doing it for a long time. As long as people are watching me, I'm going to keep doing it. Because, I mean, honestly, uh, I've done a lot of things. You know, I've been, like, an electrician before. I, uh, I try to go to school, and I'm, I'm 21, so, you know. I'm not that young anymore, but I'm still young. So I'm in I'm in that that you know that that age where you gotta you gotta pick something, right? Yeah. And I mean I I've tried a lot of things. I've done a lot of things like career opportunities and this and that, but like nothing really feels like fulfilling to me. Like nothing feels like yeah I I want to do this for the rest of my life. And I mean it's not a money factor because like, when I was an electrician I was, I was making bank. You know I was making good a good amount of money, but I still wasn't happy with it. I was like. Like what's wrong? Like I, you know, I'm making all this money. I can support myself, but I'm still not happy. Like I'm still not fulfilled. Like on the inside, and it it bothered me forever. And I noticed, like even when I was doing this as a, as a hobby before, I knew I wanted to do YouTube like full time, really not forever. Um, I noticed that this is the only thing that made me happy. And so because of that, like because of that um that interaction with the people you know, that watch me, like how that makes me feel like good and makes me feel like yeah, I'm doing something. You know, I'm doing something to change people's lives. I'm doing something to change the world. Even even if it's a small part of the world, like I feel like that that feeling I get from it, that's what I want to keep doing. So I want to keep making people happy. I want to keep making you know, like hopefully when I get bigger, like when I have like thousands of subscribers, I can be like, oh look guys, we should totally donate to to these people here. Like they really want to do that so bad, yeah. Yeah, Jerry like <laughs> yeah, like I de like that's what I want to do. Like I just want to like help people out so much, like people that are in need or people that need something in general. Like whether it's a smile or if they need money, like I want to be that guy to be like, hell yeah, like I can help, like, I can help you out, no problem. 
I have these people that are like totally into me, you know. That that's what I want out of life. Like it's simple. Like I don't need that much money. I just need enough money, you know, to to survive. Because we're this is still the real world, and you still need to make you know a living. But uh, I figure if I can make it, you know, doing doing something like this and something good, then that's that's what I want to do. And yeah, that's, right, that's the future. That's it. What's the future of your channel look like? What do you have in store? <laughs> future of my channel. Actually, I haven't really ever thought that I would get this far. I thought I was just going to stop. But my future of YouTube. Um, what I have planned so far, I think I'm probably going to tell my story. I'm going to start a little uh, segment on my channel, something like story time. And just, just talk about some of the things that I've gone through, some stupid things that I've done, and just let people know what I've been through so far. I think that's where I'm heading into next. I also want to get make films. That's why I, uh, with Creator, he said Canon. He makes movie. It's just amazing. I, I want to have that type of uh, videos on my channel. And he's back. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, Creator's back? Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> Who cares? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> great. I'm kidding, buddy. Well, yeah, I guess to show you guys, well, both of you can hear seen me before. Well, this is the Canon I was talking about. Crap. This is the can I was talking about, the um, can and Rebel T5i. I think it's mm -hmm. the newest one. This is the one I got cost like eight hundred dollars. Oh my! This God. is like if you ever like if you ever see my channel, well, both you already saw my channel trailer. This is actually it's funny because I bought this for my YouTube channel, but the only thing I actually filmed with it was my channel trailer. Dude, Otherwise, I always it. use I always the use my webcam. In that trailer is so yeah. amazing. Yeah, so you're like, I don't watch my channel trailer. This is it's like this quality right here. Why don't you do your face cam with that? Like, I, I, I know I could. I know I could. I, I could. I could. I could. Like, I could. No. see it in my cable. I just don't. I just don't feel like yeah, that took the whole day just to do because like the, the resolution. I know it's just me being lazy. <laughs> the editing. This took the whole freaking day just to do it. Dude, I tell you, I stopped using the face cam one because it was killing my iPod, and two is that extra step that was killing it. <laughs> I don't tell you, but I well, this webcam's good. It is 1080p. It's just like, like the megapixels make a difference. Like this is oh, 24 yeah. megapixels, I think. Like uh, this is only, I, I don't remember how many megapixels it is, but it's 1080p. But yeah, this camera right here is pretty good. That's why I do plan on doing like some short films. Hopefully, you'll see them in 2015. Just like random stuff, not random, but like it'll have a purpose. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But I have two different lenses: the small lens and the extended lens. But that's pretty much it. This only cost me eight hundred dollars, but you that, do. that's what I need in my life, man. As a <laughs> vlogger, I need to. I'm like, I had this little camera. This was an investment for me. It was like, it was like three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks for this that's camera. Good. I think oh, I have here. the same exact camera. <laughs> my vlog's right here, buddy. I, I got hold you, up. Baby. <laughs> hold up for a minute. Wait. <laughs> Hey, I got you all beat. I film all my vlogs <laughs> on this daggum thing. No, but like, that's a good. Yeah, but that's a good. That's quality. good though. Like, I mean, like, I, I be seeing your videos. Like, I didn't even. I mean, if I, if I didn't already know that was filmed off of He's your uh, phone, iPod, yeah, uh, iPod, yeah. I would have never expected because I thought video, no, their camera quality is pretty good. Yeah, that latest that latest hatred video is. I know it's crystal clear. Like, <laughs> you have the same point. exact camera, Danny. <laughs> oh my goodness! Y'all <laughs> <laughs> got the same. <laughs> Dude, it's destiny. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Same camera. I was surprised, and I was like, "Look, I'm a YouTuber. I need to make videos. I need a camera like that." The guy was like, well, I don't know about YouTube, but these cameras are good for vanity. And I was like, good. This is my budget, and I'm pretty cheap, so just give me the best thing you got. And he's like, I got this. And I was like, I'll take it. It's beautiful. Because <laughs> I, I, honestly, I, I don't know anything about technology. Like, I'm a gamer because I can just put the disc in the game, and then I play it. And that's what I do. Like, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I had to, like, you know, like, build a computer, I would, I can't do that. So I don't, yeah, I don't even know. That's what yeah, like, is. yeah, I cannot do like, that. I don't really understand like the megapixels and everything and all this stuff. Like I know the bigger the number, you, you the better the quality. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> if it has letters and numbers in a sequence, that's probably good. That's that's what I'm thinking <laughs> in my head. I'm like R G five seven. Okay, that probably sounds good. So let's get that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of technology, um, 
Crater knows this. A lot of the viewers know this, but you guys don't. I'm on the, the radio station on my college campus. Like, I have a radio show on mm -hmm. the campus. So it's like 99.3, but don't even try to pick it up. you got to be, like, right beside the campus to pick it up. Anyway, we got the streaming to work again, so now you can listen to it on streaming. Well, one thing I want to tell you, Crater, about is that we got this new yeah. thing called remote broadcasting, which means that I can take this and broadcast it on the radio. Really? Oh, could, really? Yeah, that's I could. Crazy. That, that's, ne that's next uh, semester, and I told I was like, can I test it with something I do for YouTube? He goes, yeah. He's just you got to tell your nerd buddies to you know watch their language, and I was like, yeah, I know that, but I was like, I was like, huh. I could put this on the radio. <laughs> that's oh, crazy. so you could put this video? Huh? Oh, interesting. Good. Yeah, like basically what I'd have to do is have a whole setup in my room. And he would take the audio from here and broadcast it on the radio. That's sweet. Huh. Yeah. New technology. That could actually work for you. That could actually work for you. That would, actually make that would really work for me because I would get experience would. while broadcasting our thing on the radio. Huh. But that. But I'll keep in touch with you next semester because. Yeah, just tell me because plus if you need the video file, I'll send you the video file. Yeah, you send me the video file and all that jazz. So you can just do whatever you want with it. Cause this is yours technically too. It's just airing on oh, my I'm, channel. Yeah. yeah. This like, is just airing on my channel. Last, I, last week I hosted, so I mean. Yeah, so that's my point. So it just shows that <laughs> this whole thing is pretty much. You know, I, I will be honest yeah. with you. This the talk show thing. When after the first episode, like I wasn't really feeling it. But then after the third episode, I realized, yeah, me, you could do this. Yeah. You know, like, you know, it's, it's all it's my better. channel. It's yeah, getting, it's getting better, better, and better, better and better. And and another thing too is like uh. Oh god, I was about to say something and I done it done left me. I <laughs> talk for a moment while I think. I don't forget what I was gonna say. No, but I find ironic with you two how basically I'm not really a um vlog, like a vlogger or anything, but it's ironic because the camera oh. that y'all would need, I have. So oh I god, just, you nobody. So one of my friends was watching the pre-recorded versions, like they weren't watching us live, uh, and he's yeah. like, "Do you know Crater in real life?" I'm like, "No," because you guys act like you've known each other for years. <laughs> I'm like, I've only known him for a couple <laughs> weeks. Uh, a couple months. Like, exactly. <laughs> like, we clicked. That's, like, so that's well. my point. It just works. Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody's like, man, you guys act like you've known each other since childhood. I'm like, I swear <laughs> we haven't. No, that's how I know. We've been doing it what? Seven episodes now, technically six. No, we've been doing it for seven, haven't we? Seven. No, well, just one seven. episode. No, yeah, yeah, no, no. This is the seven, but it was just one episode you weren't on. Oh, well, I, there was two I wasn't on. Oh, it was two of them. Yeah, it was two of them. But that was special, but that's another thing. Uh, the one one had like 18 people in there. Oh God, how many people did you yeah. have in that one? And then the other one, I just I couldn't, either. I couldn't come to. Yeah, you, yeah, you just wasn't there, so that was cool. Yeah. No problem. But I yeah, love how we're like talking. Said, and we're leaving these two guys here just sitting what? here. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm, I want to no, see that camera again. This, wait, you this is see. the Danny talk show. This is your talk show. So you know, you go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and talk with each other. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, well, since we're getting off topic, I guess you might as well talk about the whole Sony thing because everybody's heard yeah, of that by that? the whole Sony. Basically, if you didn't, Sony got hacked pretty mm -hmm. much. Like, they hacked Again? Me. They got hacked because uh, <laughs> the new movie, The Interview, yeah. talking about Kim, Kim, John, uh, Kim John June or whatever the hell his name is. Yeah. And, um, oh. and uh, so Sony got hacked, and now they recently found out that it was uh, – from Korea, where the hackers were coming from. What? But what really makes me mad about the situation is that movie theaters are like, oh, I don't want them to target us. So they pulled the movies so out of the movie. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, that way, I was so shocked. I was like, really? Wow. They actually I'm like, they're going to attack Hickory, North Carolina. Yeah, I'm so glad you pulled that movie out of that theater. Every single AMC theater. They're going to just like locate it, pinpoint it, boom. We got this. Like, I was like, yeah, they're totally going to target us. Where all we got nothing's but farms and old plants that ain't there no more because of NAFTA. That's yeah. where all the burgers come from, man. That's where America. <laughs> well, like, where all the corn and stuff comes from. Oh, that's not that important. Somebody's phone is ringing. What's going on over there? That's my big part. Uh, Crater, you're the host. You're supposed to be the most professional. <laughs> I know. I'm I, professional because I'm the co host. No, if my sister's calling me, I told her I'm not, like, I can't do anything for an hour. She's calling me. <laughs> no, man, like, I know. Because uh, my big brother's texting me, like, are you busy? 
You recording something? I'm like, yes, don't. I, don't, I told her. I told her, like, I'm recording. Like, just don't call me or whatever. See, I've been texting my, my girlfriend this entire time, but because of that bar at the bottom of the screen, I can hide it. See, it's like it's like right here, but I put it down here. Wow. Yeah, I should have had mods on the ring. I should have had mods on the ring here. I've been texting her this entire time. Speaking of camera, she actually got a new camera, a uh, photo camera. She got a. Fujifilm Intax Mini 8. I don't know what that is. Oh, actually, I have heard of that camera before. I have yeah, she, she she got it, apparently. And she's liking it. Oh, no, it, it is pretty good for what it does. I don't have a camera. I, I do have a camera. Do you remember the Kodak Swipes when they first came out? Mm -hmm. That's that's what I got, one of those old Kodak Swipes. But I just use my iPod because apparently it, it takes amazing photos. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's all, I hate when people bash on Apple. You can't, you can't deny the image quality that they produce. Yeah, like, when I look at my vlogs, like, especially that hatred one, I don't know why, but the lighting must have been right that it day. On, it was on point, yeah. It was perfect. I was like, Jesus, that looks good. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I know. I'm just looking at it. I'm just looking at it. <laughs> you, can, you can, like, pick it up so it doesn't, like, <laughs> I know I'm going to do this in the... If, if she calls one more time, I guess I had to pick up, but... Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, putting the spotlight back on our two guests. Is there anything y'all wanted to add? Anything y'all want to get off y'all's chests? Hmm. About the whole Sony thing right now. Whatever. Oh yeah, we were talking about Sony, wasn't we? I don't forget. Um, yeah, I totally forgot. What we <laughs> With like the Sony thing, I kind of I would try to see it on other people's shoes. Like, like what if you know North Korea did a, bit, a movie on like killing Barack Obama or they something? They already what have. They already have. Like, if you, <laughs> all their subway trains, they talk about how America is terrible and awful. But I don't care, because I am in a great country. You can bash it all you America. want to. You can change anything. America. <laughs> America. Exactly. But yeah, yeah, it just... I guess it just shows how, like, twisted North Korea is. Because if, if you're going to get mad over parody... Or just how easily a bunch of, they are. Exactly. Where we do a bunch of parodies of everybody else in the world, and nobody cares. But if it's I wonder on specifically how, he, I wonder how he feels about nine gag because in nine gag he gets made oh fun of like every single day. Like I bet he banned that quick as soon as he saw he's made fun of there. I mean, like, wait, was it really that bad? No, I, it was funny because Seth Rollin um, tweeted. He said usually people don't threaten to kill me until after they see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, yeah, oh, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he Seth said, Rose yeah, usually people cool don't kill me. He said, yeah, people usually don't kill me until after they pay $12 to see my movie. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they don't try to kill me. But, damn, this is quick. <laughs> this is just so stupid. It just shows, like, how, like, what, like, what is wrong with North Korea? Usually, <laughs> at first, like, I didn't care, like, what's about what North Korea is doing. But after learning this, I started to look up the history and just, damn. Ever since that fucking guy thinks that he just owns the place is just horrible. Like like I swear I I if somebody made a movie about killing Barack Obama, I bet everybody in their mother would go and watch that movie <laughs> and laugh. That's my point. Obama would watch that movie and laugh. <laughs> Not take offense. Just because it's a like, joke. Hey, mad. That's what I do. Like who can't just take jokes? I mean I mean I get it. There's some things like it's a joke they think things too far, but at the end of the day, this movie was a joke. And yeah, they, I mean, let, let's, look, let's use what I said to Crater when he said he's back, and I said, who cares? You know, he obviously knew I was joking. I mean, obviously. Like, that's that, my point. So, like, it's, it's like the movie is joking. It ain't like a real plot. Like, hey, like, if it was real, okay, yeah, that's taking it a little too far. But. Kim John June, we'd have done it already. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's my point. Like, it's just that guy really overreacted, but I guess it. I guess it shows terrorism it could actually work because the fact that it made a movie not be shown anymore is just freaking ridiculous. That's because everyone's pansies. Okay, okay, okay. So the, it's America, really, because we watched this thing in my media class about uh, Ebola, right? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. they, they showed us the UK. Um, and, and anchor, I'll, I'll be the anchor man. <laughs> Ebola is spread to West Africa. And uh, there's no need to worry because there's no chance of it reaching this the country. If it does, we are prepared. Here's America. Oh, we're all gonna die. Ebola is in West Africa. It's gonna be here tomorrow. There's two know, cases in Texas. We're all gonna die. Ebola could swim. How it is? That's America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always the media. That is true, man. Because America, what? Americans love to be feel victimized. That's just how it is. It, it is true. And now it seems like North Korea 
is the ones that want to be victimized. Like yeah, they're they're trying to get the spotlight. Like oh, all they had the bolo oh, scares. I want the I want the oh I'm offended. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they need to do something to get recognized, I guess. Oh, we're all going to get assassinated. It's <laughs> funny the stream because we're talking about the interview. <laughs> you're going to be like, take this down. down. Like, I'm going to track you four down and you're all going to die. I'm going to make <laughs> My like, computer's going to get hacked. And, oh my like, God. Yeah, I'm North Korean like, flags all over it. Missile. Yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if I hear like a missile right now. <laughs> They're going to import oh, no. North Korean flags all over <laughs> your desktop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I would die. <laughs> that shows how much we're afraid of North Korea. Oh my god. That's just so stupid. Like, why would you get mad over a movie? First of all, you didn't even see it yet. They were just assuming it was going to be bad. They only saw the trailer. I mean, I know some people saw it in the premiere. I forgot where it premiered at. That was the only the people who saw it were the only people who actually saw it because now it's banned. But they showed that the premiere. And so, otherwise, you didn't see the movie. So, how can you say it was going to be that bad? Like, I know Rip Pirate Bay, because uh, that's where everybody would have started going to <laughs> when they started taking it out of movies. Well, Pirate Bay's back. I mean, Pirate I Bay mean, came back three hours after it got shut down. It did? Yeah. It's just <laughs> under a different domain. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's under, uh, you could go to EEHK or CR, one of those. Jeez. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, go to PirateBay.HK, or not HK, ThePirateBay.HK, sorry. Hmm. We're giving Wait, government. speaking of sh- no, sp- yeah, yeah. Speaking of government getting shut down, I know it's not nothing related, but there remember Mega Video? Do you remember LimeWire? Oh yeah. God, I, I hated LimeWire. Lime oh my God, don't you talk would about LimeWire. Song and you would get porn. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. And I was like eight years old, and my brother used LimeWire, and he's like, "Go in there and get whatever song you want." Yes. And I downloaded it, and that was my first introduction to hentai, and it was awful. <laughs> Eight years old. Like that. That's true. Like, I was a kid and I watched it. And it like something. It would have like a little red like sign that said explicit. I don't know what that meant. I was, I'm, I'm Hispanic. Like my first language was was uh, Spanish. You know, I'm Mexican. Like, I don't know. Red. Maybe maybe that's cool. Maybe it's like super awesome. Like I'm cold. And I was like, okay, let's click that and watch it. And then you know, banging. They're just banging. And it's crazy. And I was like, oh well, this is not the song that I wanted. Uh, that's yeah. obvious. I don't. I guess red means people having sex. <laughs> my, 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 my brother, one time we was using LimeWire, he had the volume jacked all the way up because he oh, was playing music. God. And mom was like, play play some Gap Band, you know, <laughs> funk music. So he goes and finds a Gap Band song. turns on, I was like, ah, like extremely <laughs> loud. And my mom was like, what are you watching? <laughs> I swear, mom, it's not. It's not what it seems. I meant to click it. I, I thought it was the Gap Band. <laughs> oh, it's definitely the Gap Band, all right. <laughs> It was hilarious. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> I, I, love, I miss my childhood. Good Lord. I miss oh. my childhood only because of the shows that air now just sucks. Mm. I swear, the cartoons back then, that was the shit. Even PBS. Like, PBS, that was, the, the, that was the show. Yeah, I, I, miss, I miss Rocky and Bullwinkle. I miss that show. Oh, yeah. Bear in the Big Blue House. I watched that growing up. <laughs> Who could forget Kids Next Door? Blues Clues, that's the best. Blues Clues. Blues Clues. Freaking, uh, what was it, Max and Ruby, all that good shit. I didn't shit. watch Max and Ruby. Oh, I watched the cat show. What else? The three little cats, the three little Chinese cats. Oh, oh, oh I PBS, I know what you're talking about. That was, yeah, that was, yeah, I love that show. What was it? I remember Cyber Chase. Oh, Arthur. Cyber Chase was my show. Oh, God. Yeah, I, love, I love Ren and Stimpy. Even though I didn't get none of the jokes till I was like 14, I love Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> and I didn't realize yeah. that in uh, in Rocco's Modern Life that Heifer worked at a phone sex company till I was about 17. Yeah, that's what? Good, good, you know that's the good thing about yeah, that was the good thing about back in the days in the 90s. They, there was no censorship. Oh, there was. They all. just sneaked it past. They just I know. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was like avoided. Yeah. That, that was the thing. It was an inside joke that only adults would have known if they had actually watched it. And the kids would have never batted an eye. That's why they just went away with it. Dude, when I was when I was in when I was in France, I was watching a cartoon, like French cartoons, and uh, and then it, the show was over and it was rolling credits. I'm like, okay, I'm ready for the next cartoon. Next thing that popped up was porn. That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Stop. No filter, it just like you just went in. Yeah, like it 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 went to commercials, obviously, and then it came back, and I was like, oh, I guess the cartoons are over. My mom was like, I guess this is like a soap opera, and then they started. No. Then they started. Uh, 
going at it, and we're like, oh, well, I guess they don't have censorship in France, apparently. Damn, uh, damn. And I was driving my mom, too, and we were just, I was just sitting there. I was like, are you going to change it? And she goes, I just wanted to see how uncomfortable I could make you. And I'm like, well, how about oh you change it? You did a good God. job. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. I, I, I just don't even know what to do. First, you and me. I was like, do I look away? Do I like I don't see it? Do I like just keep looking at it? Do I, do I say change it? I mean, like I didn't what, what know. Do I was like, that situation. Do you make eye contact with your mom? Like, is I would. Not that's not that's something, something you should do. And then, no. and then I make eye contact with my mom. Um, no. And then, you know, man, like, really think about it, dude. Like, if, if you wait longer, I mean, you're a, you're a guy, you're a dude, whether you want to or not, things are going to happen to your well, body. Well, that's the, that's, the, that's the point I was making without saying it. I thought everybody would just get that out of the... Well, yeah, that's you know, true. Pick that up, but... <laughs> Oh god, I, I love being on Crater Show because I can turn it dirty in a matter of a couple seconds, and I know he loves it. I know you love the Crater. <laughs> well, actually, I, I'm, I'm looking at the comment section. Somebody actually commented. Um, it says I'm loving that Zelda poster. So he's just, he's either oh, talking he's, about oh, he's gaming, about he yeah. or either, either you or Danny, because y'all both have Zelda posters. Oh, yeah, oh probably Danny. I think Danny's is clear. I think Danny's is clear. You can't really see that much. Well, okay, yeah. so man, here, here's the thing about the poster. So like I love I love Zelda like hardcore like I have like a few tattoos I don't oh, know if you can tell. yeah like I got the Goron and the Triforce and stuff right oh so that's the but, yeah. oh you got a, that's a wall scroll back there I just never realized <laughs> oh yeah yeah and so like the, here's the thing man here's here's my confession to all of you guys um I've actually never played <laughs> Minish Cap. You're, you <laughs> never played Minish Cap, but you, but got you a have the poster. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what's, it's because, like, I never had, like, you know, a little handheld system. Like, all I had was the 64. Play on an emulator. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just don't have the time. Like, it feels like like it's too late now. Like, what am I supposed to do? So it's never too late. It's too late. Right. No, it's never too late to play an emulator. <laughs> Wow, you should not have made that. Like my my respect for you went like way down <laughs> the drain. Like I'm like, God. But that's wow, not man, fair. I, I have a weird relationship with Zelda, man. I love it so much, but like I've I've only played all the 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 actual gaming consoles, like the the ones you have at home, the home consoles, I guess. Yeah. What what, what what's your favorite one? If you Ocarina, had to Ocarina of Time. Mine's Majora's Everybody. Mask. You know, Everybody so. knows. Everybody knows. Like I don't agree with that. <laughs> like Majora's Mask is cool, but. Well, Majora's I, Mask is a lot of uh, you got to be quick and you got to know what to do, when to yeah, do it, and all that. Like I really hated the three day time period. That kind of that kind of blowed for me. And that's well, what I like. I just that's what I liked well, about it. Speaking of Majora's Mask, it came out 3DS version of it. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I have, have a 3DS. A, well, I do have a 3DS. I just don't know if I'm gonna play it or not. But no. how about you buy it and I'll fly to Philly and play it on your 3DS? <laughs> that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Yeah. I'll pay the five hundred dollar plane ticket just to play Majora's Mask on a 3DS. <laughs> I was actually planning on giving this away once a new 3DS. I might do a giveaway on this. Well, um, I'll, I'll probably enter it then. Yeah, I'm ready to do it. Who's no, got to me or you? I got the Bud Gamer. I got the 2DS, dude. <laughs> oh, I got the door oh, stumper. The only reason I got the 2DS for Pokemon and uh, Smash. When they came out, and that's that's the only two games I have on oh, like Project X Zone. Cause I'm oh, a big Capcom fan. I was thinking it's Smash for 3DS, but I guess I'll just wait <laughs> until <laughs> next year just to get. I guess I should just announce it now. You, I was how, do you know how many people's gonna be going into that when you say uh, 3DS giveaway? You're gonna have like 50 billion people coming. <laughs> on the video. Yeah, just give away right? 3DS. No, yeah, I guess I guess I should just announce it right now. Eventually, when I get the Elgato Game Capture 60, I'm going to give away my Elgato. So You're going to give away your Elgato? I won't need it anymore. I won't need it anymore. Oh now I'm going to give away my 3DS when I get the new 3DS. So once I get those two, I'm going to give away these two when I get the Elgato 60. Oh my Just raking all the subscribers. <laughs> I know, right? Jesus. I, I still need a capture card. But then again, I'm pretty much done with console gaming, so... So yeah, whoever... I'm just telling you in advance, once I get that, expect a giveaway in this and my 3DS. Once. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. when that happens on my Steam community thing, I'll make sure I announce it to all my Steam community peeps. I'm doing a giveaway, put, yeah. Yeah, I'll put it on my channel too, because that's a big giveaway. That's a giveaway you don't want to miss. I know. 3DS and Elgato. I want to win, so. <laughs> I would well, no, okay, I'm just put in the randomizer thing. Just make it fair to that randomizer thing on the, online. 
Did you did you watch my did you watch my giveaway crater? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw you it. saw how I draw. You, 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 you put, you, you, you I put everything paper, in a hat. You had the paper in the exact same. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I, I get. I, uh, since I'm not famous yet, I can do it. If I have like 20 people or less, I'll write everybody's name on the same size sheet of paper, fold it up, and put it in a hat, and do it that way. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't saw it. Well, I mean, it's fair, but. Yeah, that that's like you know you because I do it in front of them because then you can't say there was nothing fishy behind it. I know. I that's why I hate when people say like it was fishy giveaway. And you, you know, you clearly show the video, the ram like the randomizer, and you're it's not freaking. You're not faking or anything. It's right there. But the but, first time I did a giveaway was just cause two, and I was devastated when everybody everybody who lost unsubscribed. That was devastating. Wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's messed up. That is yeah. messed up. That was that was hmm. interesting. So like going completely off topic here, um, Mike, I I fucking love your dreadlocks, dude. I oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I was waiting to see how long it would take for somebody to say something. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, so I was just like, I'm just gonna wait till somebody points. I've been it. like, I've been like, I, now you can't click on the cameras. Like every once in a while, I'll click on his camera, just like look at his dreadlocks, <laughs> dude. I wish I had dreadlocks, man. They're so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like, like, with dreadlocks. <laughs> I've always wow. had like super straight hair, and I was like, I always wanted to look super straight. It's oh been, <laughs> it's, I know it's it's weird, man. It's weird. I put you on the spot and stuff, but like no, it's because I can relate to this so much. I just got back from college, so in college, my roommates, every single person in my class is like. Oh my God! I love your dreadlocks, and I go up to them, and they come up to me and start pulling on my hair. And apparently, my hair is stretchy, so it's like it bounces or whatever. It goes like this, and then it just drops. And they're like, oh, "It's so amazing!" And they're like, "Bro, how do you get all the girls in my hair?" Dude, I, like, have, I have girls that will like rub their fingers through my hair because they say it feels like a dog. I guess that's a compliment. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a compliment. Same thing with my hair. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Like I used to have girls come up to me during in high school and just start pulling my hair. And my girlfriend sitting right across from me. I'm like, uh, uh, do you realize who that is? <laughs> Holy crap! I'm, I'm oh, trying man. to write my autobiography. Like I just need <laughs> to. Like God. Uh... Hey. <laughs> hmm, yeah. I, yeah. Crater, I went to your channel to see something. I don't forgot what I was going there to see. What? I don't know, I was going to go to your channel, and then I, I totally forgot what I was going to your channel to go look at. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I guess we'll talk about it later, I guess we should end it now. It's about time to wrap this up. Oh, yeah, it's about time to wrap it up. Does it usually so, last this long? It's usually like an hour. Yeah, yeah, I try to make an hour. I mean, it could probably go past an hour, depends on how off topic we go. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, do, do you want to do your uh, always awkward outro, or do you want me to outro it? Oh yeah, this time you do it. Go ahead. All, right, all right, I'll do the outro then. All right, everybody, this has been Crater 2001 Talks, and as always, subscribe, hit that like button when it comes to Crater 2001, and if you want more content from me, you can go to Publishes Gaming, youtubecom slash Gaming, or you can click on the link on you on Crater's profile page, and make sure you check out our two new guests. I like them, so that means you should check them out. We had the first vlogger on here; that's a record. So make sure you go check out his stuff because I have not seen an independent vlogger in a long time, and then we. We have Mike over there. Not sure what's on his channel because I actually forgot to go look. But, you know, go check him out. That's incentive. And uh, it's mysterious. It's like a kinder surprise. You know what that is. But um, anybody, anyway, you can find these guys' channel on Crater or my page. It'll be on my page up for a week. I don't know. I'm not sure how long Crater keeps his up. But, um, you just keep him up? All right. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. This has been it. And Crater, is there anything that you want to add since it is your show? Mm. Well, before I do, um, anything you want to add, Danny or Michael? <clears throat> I don't anything think so. Want to add? Well, I just kind of got up, <laughs> got distracted by the Eagles game going on right now, and I just noticed that they lost, so I'm kind of disappointed Aww. in that. Yes! But, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but when it comes to this, this is fun. I'm glad I'm the first uh, blogger. That's pretty cool. I, I really like what's going on here. I, I like the talk show. It's pretty cool. At first, I was like, mm, I don't know. I've never been on a on a talk show before I was sketchy about it, but now that I actually did it, it's actually really fun and cool. I'm gonna go ahead and check it out whenever you post it on YouTube or whatever. See how it'll be how it'll awkward. Be it'll be immediate. Yeah. It'll be immediate. Yeah, it'll be immediately. Yeah, it'll be immediately. Go ahead and check it yeah, out. Yeah, as soon as this is over here, you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, so it's fine. 
Um, anything about you? I um, mean, anything from you, Michael? Before we end? Uh, no, really. I'm oh, just glad you guys invited me to this. That talk uh, show. that SS Gamers the guy that said I am loving that Zelda poster. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually he, one of my uh buddies that I collabed with. He's a YouTuber. He's only got like eight subscribers, and I told him about this <laughs> talk show. I'm glad he actually checked it out. <laughs> oh, good thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, man. yeah, we were playing, we were playing games. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go do this talk show. He goes, talk show, and then I told him about it, and he came and uh, watched it. Oh, see, so thank you, brought me a new viewer. Oh <laughs> yeah, well, that one viewer. No, yeah. I mean it was going. I, I was, I was looking at the view count. It kept going from like eight to six, but now. Dude, since... last week we had a lot of people. Was yeah, it it was last like... week we had a lot of people. I think it was the week before. Week before last. Yeah, it was before. It was like 12. It was like 12 good 12 people in yeah, there. Yeah, the one I, yeah, I was God, like, there was a lot. It was, it was because of Vitsby Gaming. I forgot. It was her. It was yeah, her. It was her. She was yeah. running everybody. I was like, damn, that's a lot of you. <laughs> there were like uh, literally 12 people watching it. Don't, don't worry, Mike and uh, Danny. When he puts this up, it goes like up to a 40, 50, 60 views. So you're going to get viewed. Don't worry. Don't yeah, feel so like you... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's people, fine. Yeah, yeah. People will see you. Okay, okay, if you look at all the talk shows, their views are up there. Good yeah, minutes. their views are up there. And I'm like, Dad, I'm... So I'm it, works. Like, it works. It works. It, it works, yeah. And he's got me a couple subscribers. I, I'm pretty sure because like, on the second day of doing it, I got like a random spurt of subscribers. But... <laughs> so it works. So I guess I I'll get right here. <laughs> yeah, we need to go ahead and end it. We can't. Yeah, I guess I'm going to end it right yeah. now. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Crazy House 1, signing off. Catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.